Welcome to our Piping Engineering YouTube channel. We are pleased to provide you piping educational videos. First of all, I would like to express my sincere thanks to our subscribers who subscribe to help our channel grow. If you want to watch our videos beforehand, you can purchase our channel's membership packages. In this video we will learn step by step how to calculate the distance between the centers of the elbows, the cut elbows length and the length of the pipe piece between these elbows in the rotated pipeline. Before starting the video, be sure to click the subscribe button on below right. Let's start our education video. We will perform the calculations in this video on a 12-inch pipeline. To find the length of the red color pipe piece between these two elbows first we must calculate the distance between the centers of the elbows. On next stage we need to find the lengths of the 12 inch cut elbows and finally from the total length between the centers of the elbows we will subtract the lengths of the cut elbows and the gaps for welding. Let's go step by step. As you can see, the 12 inch pipeline, which is in the south direction, First goes 1,400 mm south after the first elbow and then turns 970 mm east, then goes up to a height of 773 mm and continues east again after the second elbow. To help us understand more easily to what extent the pipeline rotates, the part of the pipeline that rotates is shown inside the parallelogram. So that the first elbow in the pipeline is located in the lower right corner of the parallelogram and the second elbow is located in the upper left corner of the parallelogram. First let's find the distance between the centers of the two elbows in this pipeline. After the pipeline rotates inside the parallelogram, two right angle triangles are created. Let's find the hypotenuse of the horizontal right triangle with perpendicular sides of 1400 and 970 shown with the blue line. We will use the Pythagorean theorem formula in such cases to calculating the hypotenuse of this right angle triangle. If we mark hypotenuse with letter H, according to the Pythagorean theorem, H squared will be equals 1400 squared plus 970 squared. Continue to calculate and found the H squared will be equals 2900900. We continue, H will be equals 2900900 under root. At last, we will use scientific calculator and found under root 2900900 will be equals approximately 1703. So, we calculate and find the hypotenuse of the horizontal right angle triangle will be equals 1703 millimeters. Also, this hypotenuse one of the perpendicular sides of the vertical right angle triangle. So, the perpendicular sides of the vertical right angle triangle, will be 1703 and 773. The distance center to center of the elbows of this pipeline will be hypotenuse of this vertical right angle triangle. Now, let's find the hypotenuse of the vertical right triangle. We will use the Pythagorean theorem formula in such cases to calculating the hypotenuse of this right angle triangle. If we mark hypotenuse with letter L, according to the Pythagorean theorem, L squared will be equals 1703 squared plus 773 squared. Continue to calculate and found the L squared will be equals 3497738. We continue L will be equals 3497738 under root. At last, we will use scientific calculator and found under root 3497738 will be equals approximately 1870. So, we calculate and find the hypotenuse of the vertical right angle triangle will be equals 1870 millimeters. Now let's calculate cut elbows angles. Let's color one of the elbows in red and the other in pink. First of all, we complete the right triangle created by the red dashed lines after the pipeline turns from south to east at the red elbow. Marking the degree of the elbow with the letter A, in a right triangle, the length of the adjacent side is 1,400 mm and the length of the hypotenuse is 1,870 mm. Now we can calculate the cutting angle A degree. According to the trigonometric function A degree will be equals arc cosines 1400 divided by 1870. Using the scientific calculator, we find that arc cosines 1400 divided by 1870 will be equal to 41.5. So, we calculated and found that the below red elbow's degree is 41.5 degrees. With the same method we can calculate above pink color elbow degree. 
In a pink right triangle, the length of the adjacent side is 970 mm and the length of the hypotenuse is 1870 mm. Marking the degree of the elbow with the letter B. According to the trigonometric function B degree, will be equals arc cosines 970 divided by 1870. Using the scientific calculator, we find that arc cosines 970 divided by 1870 will be equal to 58.8. So, we calculated and found that the above pink elbow's degree is 58.8 degrees. Now let's calculate of the elbows from the center to the end dimension. Formula for calculating center to end distance of such cut elbows is as follows. Elbow length in millimeters is equals tangent, elbow degree divided by 2, multiplied nominal pipe size of elbow NPS, multiplied 38.1. Now we will write details of the 12 inch 41.5 degree elbow to this formula. 12 inch 41.5 degree but weld elbow center to end dimension will be equals tangent in brackets 41.5 divided 2, multiplied 12, multiplied 38.1. Using the scientific calculator, we find that equals tangent in brackets 41.5 divided 2, multiplied 12, multiplied 38.1, will be equal to 173 millimeters. So, we calculated and found that 12 inch 41.5 degree but weld elbow center to end dimension is equals 173 millimeters. Now let's calculate 12 inch 58.8 degree elbow length. 12 inch 58.8 degree but weld elbow center to end dimension will be equals tangent in brackets 58.8 divided 2, multiplied 12, multiplied 38.1. Using the scientific calculator, we find that equals tangent in brackets 58.8 divided 2, multiplied 12, multiplied 38.1, will be equal to 258 millimeters. So, we calculated and found that 12 inch 58.8 degree but weld elbow center to end dimension is equals approximately 258 millimeters. Also, during fit up there should be a gap of about 3 millimeters between the pipe and elbows to be welded. We should take these gaps into account when calculating the length of the red color pipe section. Let's calculate red pipe section length between to elbows in this pipeline. Pipe length will be equals, the center to center of elbows 1870 mm, minus red elbows length 173 mm, minus pink elbow length 258 mm, minus 2 times 3 mm gap for welding. At last, we calculate and found red pipe section length will be equals 1433 mm. By using this method, you can easily calculate pipe section lengths in the any pipelines. This education video is finishing here, if you found this video useful, don't forget to subscribe to the channel from the bottom right corner and like the video. By becoming a member of our channel, you can support our channel and benefit from some features. If our viewers write in the comment section to improve their knowledge of pipe isometric drawings, we can send them additional PDF files. We're very happy to embark on this educational journey with you. Thank you for visiting the Piping Engineering YouTube channel.